everyone, and welcome back to Factorio. So, it didn't do a whole lot in between episodes. I expanded my geothermal power a, a bit, and I put down a bit more stone, and I finished up the steel furnaces up here. They're making steel. But, I also made a bunch of other steel furnaces. I have 53. So we're going to do a real quick revolutionization of our production lines, and then I'm going to explain what the problem is currently. So let me just we got to tear up all these furnaces. All right. Now I do actually have to tear up the entire production line and not just the furnaces. I realize now. Whoops. Hold on. Okay, that's that all set up. And now what I can do, because the electric furnaces don't need coal, I don't need this anymore. Like, I actually don't need it. I need, I'd need i need it for the coal for like 30 seconds longer, but I'm going to pull that up in just a minute. But now I can just pull it all the way down, pull the belt down to the end, and I don't need any coal for this. Screw coal. Who needs coal? Not me, that's who. Uh, now the problem is, it's bigger. The, the furnaces themselves are bigger. But, like, the furnaces themselves are 3x3 three three instead of 2x2, two two, which means I can't pack them as efficiently. However, they don't need coal, and they craft faster. Then I can literally just do that to expand. And I can press Q on the ghosts to bring up... Or, wrong direction. To pull... To... To put what the ghost is in my cursor. What this also allows me to do now is, because I don't need coal anymore, I can now put the miners on both sides of the belt. So now what I can do is just like expand this out ever so slightly more intelligently. There. It's a little unbalanced, but eh, whatever. But the point is, I can handle twice as much iron ore now. We've got only one real major problem left and that's our insufficient production of iron like we're we're getting a lot of iron output but it's just not enough it's just not enough now i could expand but honestly <clears throat> two weeks ago i promised that we'd be getting into dark star utilities last week and we finished like on the doorstep so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like oh god the ore belt's backing up why is there lead on my iron line? Okay, okay, enough stalling. Enough stalling. It's time, it is finally time for us to get into Dark Star Utility. So as you can see, up on the research bar, I have finished Geothermality 3. That gives us the Geothermal Generator Mark 3. And that's actually not all that expensive, all things considered. Like, the Geothermal 2 is 90 platinum plates. And if I look in the, uh, it's here. Platinum plates is platinum and you need to make platinum you need anode mud i think that's supposed to be i'm just gonna call it mud because there's nothing else called mud and they don't want to pronounce it wrong constantly but it's like it's 90 plus so it's 180 of this stuff so it's 1800 mud and the way you make mud is with uh Electrolysis copper dissolution, which you need copper sulfate for, which is going to be pretty easy. But each one of those makes 40, so each one of those would make 4 of the 180 we need. So that's a lot, and it produces 500 kilowatts, but this is double, and it just takes a single rusanthium plate. And rusanthium plate requires lithocerium plate, and the lithocerium plate requires a seucitrol plate. And the seucitrol plate requires antimony and antimony antimony, antimony antimony. So, I, I'm i just going to skip straight to tier 3, and that's the goal for this episode. But in order to do any of this, I need a vacuum chamber. 
And in order to make a vacuum chamber, I need lithium steel composite and leaded glass. But I, I got some of the materials in between episodes, and I smelted some lithium right here. The lithium's pretty rare and pretty expensive. So I need to make lithium steel composite, which is 20 steel plates and 20 lithium plates. There we go. I have the one of the two I need. So I need more I need more lithium. I have 8 and I need 20, so I need 12 more. And in comes a miner I set up in between episodes way out near the gold miner because that's the closest place lithium was. 689 lithium more. Sounds like a lot. It's not. It's 20 to a plate. We got it. I set up that miner and like let it run for like five minutes just to accrue a bit of a stock. So I wouldn't have to wait for it to come in. I know that's technically like special progress off camera. But it's like, it's the equivalent of me going there, setting up the machine, and then turning off the recording for 15 minutes. It's nothing special. Oh yeah, I also set up this warehouse. It's basically a chest, but really big. Like, really big. So this is where I'm going to be throwing all the stuff I don't care about. Throw the lithium in there. It doesn't take that long to craft. But in order to make an extraction machine, I need lead. And I need leaded glass for the vacuum chamber. I can actually make the other piece of leaded glass that I need. But now I need lead. And lead is actually something that's around here. Like, there's actually, there's lead near my, there's lead right here, like, literally. Set up a miner here to start smelting lead. There we go. And we're, like, very close to top the power. And e each individual geothermal generator, tier one, that I've been making is not a whole lot of impact. Because they're, they're, like, 240, or they're 120 kilowatts a piece. So they're not much of an impact. But the one megawatt one is a straight up 5% increase. So if we can make a couple of those, we'll be good er on power. Now I can make my second lithium steel composite, and then I can make the vacuum chamber. There we go. Oh god, that's tiny. Where do I want to put this? That's a that's a big question I haven't considered yet. Where do I want to put this? Let's throw that down right there. And I can make lithium steel composite. So I need to make that because it's a lot cheaper. Instead of being... um. What was it? 20 steel plates and 20 lithium? It's 10 steel plates and 3 lithium, and it makes 3 times as much. And I need that efficiency to make, because I need 20 composite for the extraction machine. And I think I'm actually going to make a second vacuum chamber. Making that second vacuum chamber put me under the amount of lithium I need to make the... I will be back in a minute. So now I've got what I need to make this extraction machine. Do I, hold on, do I actually need that? I'm, I'm wondering if I actually need that. Ah, it allows me to, I, yeah, that's right, I can make lithium ore out of stone. Since I technically don't need any more, I don't need any more landfill production than I currently have going. Like, it's not, a, not an important product, so I just, I kind of cut off the landfill here, because I'm going to need this, oh god, it's, this, this one's big um like that right and let's start make oh it also is the thing we need to make the stuff so let's start with lithium actually hold on need to move this down a tile or two lithium All I can do is I can take a vacuum chamber and just throw it down right there. Make, have it make lithium steel composite. Throw it in there. God, this is... This is going to take ages. But... I can kickstart the process. And that, that's going to go. It's going to go slow, but it's going to go. So what we need to do now is we need to set up something that makes mud. Now, the mud is a, it's a two-step process. First, we need copper sulfate, which is copper and sulfuric acid. Now, since we've got all our batteries, we don't need this anymore. So we can do exactly what we did for the sulfate, or the batteries, with the copper sulfate. 
I already made the chemical plants that we need. Where are they? They're right here. And then I can use a long arm inserter. Oh. A long arm inserter. Hold on a second. Uh, long underground belt. Oh, it takes a lot of gears. Okay, that'll be done in just a hot second. So this is going to be making copper sulfate. It's making copper sulfate. And what we need to do with the copper sulfate is we need to pump it directly into... There. Okay, so now all we need to do is bring some copper plates over here. Should be easy. How much havoc will it wreak if I pull this up? Oh god, the entire left side of my factory lost power. Let's throw that down again there. Or it's out of the way. So we've got our mud. Now what I want to do is I want to pull the mud out into a chest. There. So now we're making mud. So I just want to check how much mud are we going to need for one of these. We're going to need five antimony. So we're going to need ten. We're going to need a hundred mud. That's not a lot. So I'll 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 just uh I'll boot like this for now. Actually, I need I need a second extraction machine. That's right. So we need antimony. Gonna pull the antimony out into just a chest. I'll probably once I get enough vacuum chambers to automate the whole process, I'll set it up. But I'm not gonna do that on a camera because it's kind of dull. Okay, where's my mud? Mud. Okay. I also need to smelt this. Okay, so I need to make this. And then I need to make the lithium. Oh, I need lithium steel composite for that. Okay, and then the next step is rusanthium. There we go. We've got 12. So I know I said I was only going to make one, but it turns out I can actually make 12 if I had enough advanced circuits. Problem is I don't, so we'll just have to settle for 8 for now. Or 7. So now I can just add these to the pile. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. We are now exceeding power demand comfortably. And I can expand that even further when I have the free time and the advanced circuits. But now we are coming across a much more dire problem. And that's just iron. We are not getting enough iron. Like, at all. What I think I want to do is because I'm... I could definitely assemble this more intelligently. But I'm running out of space on my iron deposit. So what I think I want to do is... Find another iron deposit and sort of make a train over here. So I'm thinking I want to head out a decent ways. Because the ore, I want to go this way because I haven't been this way yet. The ore gets richer the further you go from the starting area. So I want to go out a ways and hopefully find like a giga deposit somewhere. Yeah, there. That's like double the size. That is that is the size of the iron deposit I have at base. But I want to go further. Maybe. Actually, yeah. Just d doubling it will probably be enough. So let's not bother with going further. Problem is, and it's a problem I should have realized well before now, I did not bring enough iron to support this. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rig up the rails. So I want it all to come out, like, here. So I don't have enough. Actually, I can't just make another batch. Train train cars are six six tiles long, so you can load them with six inserters at once for maximal speed. I need can I like hold on, I think I can adjust the size of the, the quick bars. Let me check. Active quick bars. So now I can set you and I can set you because I'm Lord knows I'm grabbing you a ton. Here it is. Boom. Which means I don't need those. Okay. Getting power out here is going to be another story. But I need to bring this... Up.
So now I just gotta get the same thing going here. And now I just need to make a cargo rag cargo wagon. But I need iron for that. See I just need to I'm like out completely out of iron. So train cargo wagon train. God, that's all I have for now, and I'm not even close to full coverage. It's going to be very lopsided in terms of belt balance, but I don't care because it's not done yet. And then let's... Throw them down there. We've got four megawatts available to us. Okay. And that should just go there, fill up, come back. Okay. And now I've got the issue of more furnaces to support this influx. Dude, they're passing you by. What are you doing? My inserters are bright. No? It's just not registering? Oh, it's got lead in it. Okay. Now, a majority of those are going to be inactive for a while, but the point is, when the train comes back, eventually, it's filling up slowly, but when it comes back, the rest of the furnaces are going to go, and we're going to get a much higher throughput. We're going to get, like, a throughput boost. Okay, I'm going to use my first filter inserter, just to kind of... I'm actually going to put two of them here, just in case. Just to kind of, uh... To... To act as a safeguard. Because there's, there's, once again, there's some lead here. And I don't want lead. And then what I should do is just move anything except iron ore into these chests as it goes past. We're not loading fast enough. Uh, let me get in this train so I can ride it back if it goes off but I can oh that's right stack inserters I can use stack inserters except I need iron for that so it sucks so what stack inserters do is they move more items and they move just as fast but I need some more iron before I can do that so now they're gonna start offloading and it's gonna cause a boost in iron production I hope full belt of iron ore a full red belt. Cannot... Cannot ship any more than that. I should probably get started on research. Um, let's see here. Oh, insert a capacity bonus. I should research that. So I think I've finally got my inputs balanced, and I think things are fi will finally start to back up. I need more furnaces. But, uh, anyway. That's all the time I have for now. I am gonna keep going and make sure everything doesn't jam up and get everything into a slightly more comfortable state, but apart from that, I'm not going to really do much in between episodes anymore. So, I will see you guys next week, where... I don't even know what we're going to do next week. We're going to do cool stuff next week. Be there. Goodbye.